Hey, it's Paul. Today we're going to look at K Nearest Neighbor within R and R Studio. This is a machine learning classification algorithm, and the data set that we're going to be use is biopsy data on breast cancer patients. This is an assessment of 699 patients. Each of the attributes, and the attributes you can see right here, such as clump thickness, uniformity cell size, and so on, are scored on a scale of 1 to 10, so they are normalized. And we have a classification of either benign or malignant. So our algorithm is going to try and determine whether the data set, for example, the test set, can correctly classify that result. So hopefully we should be able to get a decent sized classification. And what we can do is head over to our studio. And from within our studio, we can import that biopsy.csv. So this will contain that data set itself. And we can do that by saying BC underscore D for breast cancer data set can be equal to the read of the CSV file. So we can take in biopsy.csv. We can ensure that we have strings as factors equal to false, as we'll be making our own. And let's have a look firstly at the data set. We have these first two columns, X and ID, both of which aren't really going to help us in classifying whether that is benign or malignant. So what we'll do is we'll remove these two columns from the data set. So we'll say our data set should actually start from column three onto column 12. So if we print that out again, we do have from V1 onwards to V9 with our classification at the end here. Let's make a factor for that classification. So we can say the class with the levels of combined benign and malignant should have the label of benign and malignant. Let's have a look again. And now you can see our class factor at the bottom correctly analyzing whether something is either benign or malignant with these ones or twos. So now that we have that, what we need to do now is make a new data set that doesn't include this factor. So the data set that we create will only have columns one through nine. So we can say that the data set that we want to use, maybe we'll call it BC is equal to BC underscore D from one to nine. So if we take a look at BC, we do only have one through nine. And now we can set aside some training data. So I'm gonna set aside 583. So that should leave us with 100 to test with. And we can do that by making some training data from one to 583 and including the comma so that we include everything. As you can see, we now have BC underscore train. And if we did the same for test for BC 584 to 683, we have 100 test data and 583 training data. So now we need to match the labels for either benign or malignant for them training and test data sets. So we can say BC train labels and that can be from BC underscore D because that's the classification set from one to 583. And we only want the column 10. So that's the classification column. So let's add that. Let's also add the test labels from BC underscore D from 584 to 683 column 10. So that's the classification once again, but this time for the test set. We're all set up now to start our K nearest neighbor algorithm. What we have to do is install the classification package with R. So I'm gonna use install.packages and we're gonna pass in class here. We can add this to the project using library class that will allow us to use the class methods. And now we need to create a prediction. So we can say BC test prediction, and that can be equal to the K nearest neighbor with the training set of B1 
bc underscore train the test set of bc underscore test the labels of bc train labels and then we need a k now it's a good idea to hover around the square root and the k that i'm going to use in this scenario is around 24 so we could approximate 24 26 around the area but it's up to you you should try some different values depending on the results that we get so i'm going to offer 24 and then what we can do now is compare the prediction to the data set so for that i'm going to use something called g models so we'll install packages g models and we'll add this to the project with library g models and then we can make a new cross table with the x of bc test labels so the x of our test labels versus the y which is our bc test prediction and we'll also disable chi squared so we don't want any contributions of chi squared within our cross table so if we run this we get the results so if we look at the top left that means there was a benign and we correctly observed that 79 times out of a total of 79 in the row and also for the bottom right we correctly identified 21 of the 21 malignant tumors so within the 100 observations of our test set, we accurately predicted each one of them. If you'd like to see more videos with R, then of course let me know inside of the comments section below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with more videos. And until next time, my name is Paul and I'll see you soon in the next video.